My name's Corey, and today we're restoring this park bench. So I had a few old park benches that I wanted to restore. I started by unscrewing the back panel from the bench and removed all the old wood that framed the backrest. All the wood will eventually get replaced. I then remove the seat slats from the two end pieces. With a wire brush attached to my cordless drill, I cleaned off all the dirt from the metal pieces and any areas that had a bit of rust. Overall the metal pieces were in pretty good shape, so I didn't have to spend much time wire brushing them. Once clean, I wiped them down with mineral spirits to clean the metal and provide a better surface for paint adhesion. With everything clean and dry, I sprayed each part with a couple coats of blue enamel paint, making sure to get the paint in all the intricate design work in the metal. While the paint dried, I started working on replacing the wood slats. For this, I used some cedar fence boards. I cut them down to length with the miter saw, then used the table saw to rip them to their final width. I chose to make the slats a little bit wider than the original ones hoping that it would provide more support. I also had to recreate the pieces that framed the backrest. Those pieces had a slight bevel on the inside edge so that it would butt up against the metal nicely. So I recreated that bevel. You can see the difference between the original and the new piece. So I had to rip them down to their final thickness. With all the pieces cut to their final dimension, I used my router to add a 1 quarter inch round over to all the slats to make it more comfortable to sit on.
Then gave everything a quick sanding with the random orbit sander and 220 grit sandpaper. To protect the wood, I applied four coats of an outdoor polyurethane to both sides of each slat with a foam brush. This should allow them to resist the elements for a few more years and prevent the cedar from darkening to a grey colour as quickly. I sanded with 220 grit sandpaper in between coats to get a super smooth finish. With the wood pieces finished, I reassembled the backrest. I screwed the wood in from the back just like the original. Reattaching the backrest was a bit of a challenge on my own, but I found the best way was to lean it on the floor while I screwed in one side, then let it rest on the second side while I secured it in place. The original bench had bolts and nuts that went all the way through the wood, but I couldn't find any in stainless steel, so I used screws from the back for now. Eventually I'll have to replace the screws with proper bolts. Attaching the slats was fairly straightforward with the sturdy base assembled. I placed them on the seat, spaced them out evenly, then screwed them in from the bottom. And with that, the bench was done. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.